Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom uh, for a eighth grader, fourth grader, kindergartner, and pre-Ker. Um, on this channel, I like, usually talk to you guys about secular homeschooling, um, but I also talk to you guys about other things like motherhood and our lives in general and things like that. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how we've been using um, Math with Confidence from Kate Snow along with the primer level of Math UC, kind of in conjunction with each other with my kindergartner and pre-k So this is our ninth year of homeschooling. Um, I have used this uh, Matthew C primer level with both of my older daughters who are now eighth grade and fourth grade. Um, and so I have had this for a while, but I saw this Math with Confidence program from Kate Snow and had heard such great things about it um, that I wanted to go ahead and give this a shot as well. Um, and I have been using both of them with my kindergartner and my pre-kayer. Now, my kindergartner is using the pro both of these programs as prescribed, I'm making sure he's meeting all of the, you know, concepts that he needs to be meeting and everything. My pre k -er is just along for the ride. So whatever she understands, we do. And whatever she doesn't, we either, I either don't do it with her or we, you know, just skim over it and whatever she picks up, great. I will probably start both of these programs over again with her next school year when she starts kindergarten. Um, but you know, for now, she's just coming along with us. It's no big deal. Um, and yeah, so that is kind of where we're at. I'm making sure my son is meeting these programs because he like, you know, these activities because he will be continuing on to, you know, I think math with confidence, I think it's grade one. Um, and then with Matthew C, it will be alpha. And so I'm gonna kind of give you guys a peek at um, the, the table of contents here real quick and show you how these do kind of line up pretty well. And then I'll talk a little bit about like what we've been doing along the way and how we're using it. So let me shut, set up that down shot real quick for you guys. Okay, so I've pulled out the teacher manual of both of these. I'm gonna flip to the table of, of um, contents for you guys. So here is Matthew C. Here is Kate Snow. Okay, so as you can see here, they both start with um, learning numbers. And then once they learned numbers, they both go into shapes. And then they, this one goes into patterns. We're still working on shapes here. This one doesn't really cover patterning, like, you know, like blue, blue, green, blue, blue, green. So that way, you know, did over here. And then we jump into addition here, you know, comparing numbers addition and lots of addition over here. And then we get into other things like telling time and things like that, which we do also have over here. One thing is this is gonna go into full subtraction where, you know, before you get to the, the time. Um, and this is going to not get into, it just does very little subtra subtraction um, here at the end. And you'll see that this has numbers to 100 after, you know, subtraction on all of that stuff. And you cover place value hundreds well before that here. So that's, those are the only things that don't really like line up per se. Um, but what we did was we started with the Kate Snow program and we were using the workbook. Let me grab one to show you guys. So you can see it's a very colorful workbook and we were just going through at his own pace, you know, what he liked doing. Um, and that was several pages a day, sometimes three, four pages a day. Um, so I was doing a little bit less in, in both of these. Um, and then we got to the um, addition section here and he started to really struggle. So that's when I broke out the Matthew C program over here. We kind of skimmed over some of this. In the beginning, we did do some of the beginning lessons because they, it uses blocks and we need they, they needed to work with knowing which blocks were which and what and all that stuff. So we did some of that. We covered place value and then we jumped into doing addition here. If I were to go back, I would have kind of been bouncing back and forth a little bit more. I would have started this a little bit sooner um, and but you know, 
that it is what it is. I'm not going to go ahead and cover this this um, numbers to 100 section yet because we covered it here and I think it's going to be a good review when we get down there um, to that point. But basically you can see this lines up pretty well. Um, so let's talk about how we've been using it. Okay, so I did mention a little bit in there about how we've been using it. We started with the, the Kate um, Snow program. He was doing multiple pages a day in the workbook. It was going great and then it wasn't. <laughs> um, I did pick up some of the activities in here and they were great and they were helping, but it, it wasn't helping like enough. And so that's when I went ahead and pulled out the Matthew C. And so I have not been using these like together in the same day. Well, okay, that's not true. There was, there have been a couple of times where we've done a lesson from the, from the Matthew C. And then I've let him do another page or two in the workbook just to see like how check his understanding. Um, and that, that worked really well. But basically, if I were to go back and do this again, um, which I might do with my younger daughter, I would probably kind of match up the, you know, both programs and do them kind of more hand in hand. But what we've been doing since we started using both of them um, is basically, you know, we'll spend one or two days learning the concept from here and maybe using an activity from here if I think it's gonna go well or, you know, not confuse him. And then I'll check his understanding using the workbook pages from here. And that has been working really great. Um, I haven't been using the videos from a Matthew C. I've just been explaining it to him because I've done it a few times. So, and I don't know, I'm thinking I probably will go ahead and, and um, dig, the, dig the DVD out and have him start watching some of those probably, um, but we'll see. I, we haven't really needed it yet because the, the primer level is pretty um, self-explanatory. If you've used it before, like if you've used it once, but there is instructions like if, if you don't know, let me just open up a page. There is lessons like where you can read it here and see, you know, what you need to do um, and teach it yourself. So you really didn't, wouldn't have to use the DVDs if you didn't think that that would be, you know, work well for your students or whatever. But um, this has been going really well for us. It's working great. I feel like my one problem with Kate Snow was I felt like it didn't have enough practice and I feel like by bringing in the Matthew C, we're getting that extra practice um, to go hand in hand with it. He's getting um, the instruction from like two different styles, which I think can be really helpful for kids, you know, because they might not understand it one way, but they will understand it another way. So presenting it from multiple different like viewpoints is can be really helpful. And so that has been going really great. And it just is working. Is this going to work for level, um, you know, grade one and um, alpha? Probably not. Because um, if you don't know, Matthew C is mastery, which means like alpha is going to cover all addition and they're not really going to cover much subtraction or any, you know, like they do cover other things like time and money and things like that. But um, it's not it, they do all of addition. So like in, in a in a spiral program, they'll learn how to, to add single digits, then subtract single digits, then <laughs> learn how to add multi, you know, two digits, learn how to subtract two digits, then they'll learn how to add two digits with carrying, and then they'll learn how to subtract two digits with borrowing, and then they'll go up to three and three. And in Matthew C, it's you learn all of the addition steps, and then you go back and you learn all of the subtraction steps. So it, there are two different approaches. So is this going to work um, with the next level I probably not. I do already have the Alpha Matthew C and I am gonna order the um, Kate Snow um, level one so I can update you guys that on that, see if I can get them to work together. Um, but for this very first level, the kindergarten level and the primer level of Matthew C, because the primer level kind of like touches on things, they do line up pretty, pretty well. So um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comments if there's anything that you'd like me to show you in more detail or um, explain to you further, you can ask me and I'm, I'll be happy to make another video for you. Uh, if you wanted to chat with me, you can always message 
reach me over on Instagram at homeschoolology. Um, and yeah, while you are down making comments, if you've tried either of these programs, I'd love for you to comment down below. While you're making comments, I'd love you to make sure you've hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. And I think that's going to be it for me today. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Again, if there's anything you need um, further explanation on, let me know. And I hope you guys will come back and chat with me again soon. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I just <laughs> found a dead bug. <laughs>